to God be the glory. I'm O.W. Prince, and this is your real illuminating moment. To God be the glory, my friends, and welcome to this, your real illuminating moment. I'm O.W. Prince. Wherein does Jesus, his disciples, or any of his apostles speak of a halo around Jesus' head? or give a description of Jesus as being European in features, feminine, and holding a lamb. Wasn't Jesus a carpenter who hung around fishermen? Pay attention, people. The devil is spitting in our faces with pagan and demonic images of our God and Savior and telling us that these idolatrous images are approved by God in heaven because Christianity says so. Oh, really? Then y'all better tell me, did God stutter when he said, and I transliterate in the Holy Spirit, do not make any images of me for yourselves. That is idolatrous. It doesn't matter whether you form one in the shape of heavenly creatures or celestial beings or of anything above or beneath the earth or in the water under the earth. Don't you dare think of reducing the sovereign God, Yahweh, to a figment of your imagination and a dead idolatrous thing constructed from the material of Yahweh's own creation. Don't you dare. Exodus 20 and 4. As the previous video lessons on my YouTube channel taught us, Emperor Pope Constantine exercised executive privilege and power and forcibly corrupted the Messianic faith and converted it into a Sunday worshiping version of his idol sun god cult. The idol god that he worshiped, the idol god that was the god of the masses. He introduced symbols and images of the sun god cult like halos and sun rays and sun coronas into his hybrid cult of paganism and messianic hope called Christianity, which he made the state religion. Thus the Roman Catholic Church was formed. So again, where in the holy text does God represent himself as Christianity has represented him and portrayed him to be? Where in the holy text does God portray himself as a blonde hair, blue eyed white man? Or when did God make a mistake and correct himself by changing his command and permitting sinful man to turn him into something of an idol God, something of an idol plaything, something to be hung around the neck on a cross, something to be displayed in their church building and worship sanctuary? When did God permit himself to be represented by an image of a European looking uh, infeminate? When did God reduce himself to the symbol of a Chaldean idol god called Tammuz or what Christians call a cross. When did God commit idolatry against himself? When? I'm O.W. Prince and this has been your real illuminating moment and is always imparting many of the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Life hurts but God heals. Keep looking up. Thank you.